Attention, everyone. Let's have an odd hush, please, for Mr. Burns. Compadres, it is imperative that we crush the Freedom Fighters before the start of the rainy season. And remember, a shiny new donkey for whoever brings me the head of Colonel Montoya. Hmm? What? No. And by that I mean, of course, it's time for the Worker of the Week award. <laughs> ah, a candy shop. Yes, I'll take two pounds of Bristol's toffee. Oh, and don't wrap it too tightly. I'm hungry now. You've made a powerful enemy today, my friend. All right, how about this? When was your first gay experience? Oh, well, when I was six, my father took me on a picnic. That was a gay old time. Oh, I ate my share of wieners that day. Oh, that sounds lovely. Queer. Queer. Um, ever murder anybody? Murder? Well, mistakes have been made. I'll keep it short and sweet. Family, religion, friendship. These are the three demons you must slay if you wish to succeed in business. When opportunity knocks, you don't want to be driving to the maternity hospital or sitting in some phony baloney church or synagogue. Questions? Hmm. You never heard of recycling? It means to reuse things to conserve our natural resources. Oh, so Mother Nature needs a favor. Well, maybe she should have thought of that when she was besetting us with droughts and floods and poison monkeys. Nature started the fight for survival, and now she wants to quit because she's losing, well, I say, hard cheese. But nature's not our enemy. Well, surely you agree we can do without her? No, I don't agree. No? How dare you question Mr. Burns? I'll handle it, Smithers. <laughs> Shut up, little girl. Let's see, social security number, not, 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 not. Two. Damn, Roosevelt. Cause of parents' death? Cut in my way. Get your germ lab out of here! Now! now! How could I not become a radical when we were fighting a force of pure evil? Hey, hey, Mr. Burns, get up already with the germs! To oh, their flower power? It's no match for my glower power. <laughs> well, that's some nice glowering, Mr. Bay. We'd met the enemy, and it was Montgomery Burns. When this baby goes off, Burns Lab is gonna be history, man! Germ history! <laughs> oh man, I got the munchies. My germs. My precious germs. They never harmed a soul. They never even had a chance. Whoever did this will never get past me. <laughs> yes, I'd like to send this letter to the Prussian consulate in Siam by Aeromail. Am I too late for the 4.30 autogyro? Oh, I better look in the manual. Oh, the ignorant. Who should appear but the unrequited love of my college years? Mimsy Bancroft. Of course, by then, Mimsy had her share of wrinkles and a gray hair or two, but my adoring eyes saw past those minor imperfections to her 21-year-old daughter, Lily. Ahoy, hoy. Hello, Mr. Burns. This is the kidnapper. Do you miss your son? Yes, I'm missing one son. Return it immediately. If you really love Larry, prove it, and you can have him back today. Oh. How much proof do you need? Five thousand? Six thousand? I swear, that's all I've got. Don't you care about your son? This is more important than money. More important than money? Who is this? Uh, I uh, uh, See you as imperial and godlike. Hot dog. But there's a downside to it. The latest polls indicate you're in danger of losing touch with the common man. Oh dear, heaven forfend. Which is why the night before the election... We want you to have dinner at the home of one of your workers. Oh, I get your anger. Every Joe Meatball and Sally Housecoat in this godforsaken state will see me hunkering down for chow with Eddie Punch Clock. Ironic, isn't it, Smithers? This anonymous clan of slack-drawn troglodytes has cost me the election. And yet if I were to have them killed, I would be the one to go to jail. That's democracy for you. You are noble and poetic in defeat, sir. Simpson, I shall make it the focus of my remaining years that your dreams will go unfulfilled. Here are your messages. 
You have 30 minutes to move your car. You have 10 minutes. Your car has been impounded. Your car has been crushed into a cube. You have 30 minutes to move your cube. Hello, Mr. Burns' office. Is it about my cube? What? Hello, Mrs. Burns. This is Waylon Smithers. I have your son Montgomery on the line. That improvident lackwit. Always too busy striding about his atom mill to call his own mother. I'll give him what for till he cries brassafrax. Hello, Mr. Burns. This is your mother. No. Gah. Oh, hello, Mater. Um, sorry about pulling the plug on you and all. Uh, who could have known you'd pull through and live for another five decades? Who oh, is my face red? Uh, Mr. Burns, people are calling this a meltdown. Oh, meltdown. It's one of those annoying buzzwords. We prefer to call it an unrequested fission surplus. Look at that pig stuffing his face with donuts on my time. That's right. Keep eating. Little do you know you're drawing ever closer to the poison donut. <laughs> there is a poisoned one, isn't there, Smithers? Uh, no, sir. I discussed this with our lawyers. They consider it murder. Damn their oily hides! Uh -oh. I, uh, I think the boy's hurt. Oh, for crying out loud! Just give him a nickel and let's get going! Uh, I think we should call an ambulance, sir. Do your Honor, my client has instructed me to remind the court how rich and important he is, and that he is not like other men. I should be able to run over as many kids as I want! <laughs> Mr. Burns, I must warn you that if you continue to disrupt the court in this way, I will have to cite you for contempt. You wouldn't dare! Well, no, I, I guess I wouldn't. <sighs> no! Take me! I'm old! And that's what happened. What are you looking at me like that for? You believed his cock and bull story. And um, that ugly customer was the last Indonesian rhino on Earth. Hmm. I didn't know you liked animals. No, oh, I don't like everything about them. Just their heads. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided to bring in a few ringers. Professional baseballers. We'll give them token jobs at the plant and have them play on our softball team. Honus Wagner, Cap Anson, Mordecai Three Finger Brown. Uh, sir? What is it, Smithers? I'm afraid all those players have retired and uh, passed on. In fact, your, your right fielder has been dead for 130 years. Damnation! All right, find me some good players. Living players! One day we'll form a union and get the fair and equitable treatment we deserve. Then we'll go too far and get corrupt and shiftless. And the Japanese will eat us alive. The Japanese? Those sandal-wearing goldfish tenders? <laughs> Bosh, Flimsha! If only we had listened to that boy instead of walling him up in the abandoned coke oven. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Homer. I hope Crusher and Low Blow didn't hurt you. You know, you could have just called me. Oh, yes, but the telephone is so impersonal. I prefer the hands-on touch you only get with hired goons. This is a thousand monkeys working at a thousand typewriters. Soon, they'll have written the greatest novel known to man. Let's see. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. You stupid monkey. <laughs> oh, shut up. By the big cooling tower, they have the plans, but we have the power. Look at them all through the darkness I am bringing. They're not sad at all. They're actually singing. They sing without juicers. They sing without blenders. They sing without flungers, cap dabblers, and smendlers. Do tell Simpson I'm ready to deal. Tell me, Simpson. If an opportunity arose for taking a small shortcut, you wouldn't be averse to taking it, would you? Oh, not as such. Neither would I. I've always felt that there's far too much hysteria these days about so-called cheating. Yes, a lot of hysteria. Mm-hmm. If you can take advantage of a situation in some way, it's your duty as an American to do it. Why should the race always be to the swift, or the jumble to the quick-witted? Should they be allowed to win merely because of the gifts God gave them? Well, I say, cheating is the gift man gives himself. 
Mr. Burns, I insist that we cheat. Excellent. <laughs> you know, Mr. Burns, you're the richest guy I know. Way richer than Lenny. No, oh, yes. But I'd trade it all for a little more. This plant violates every labor law in the book. We found a missing Brazilian soccer team working in your reactor core. That plane crashed on my property. Look, man. disturb me during nap time. We're from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. This is a surprise test of worker competence. There must be some mistake. We, uh, we make cookies here. Mr. Burns, old-fashioned good time, extra chewy. Get the axe. <gasps> For the love of God, sir, there are two seats. I like to put my feet up. Hmm. Who's that goat-legged fellow? I like the cut of his jib. Uh, Prince of Darkness, sir. He's your 11 o'clock. Welcome. Come in. Uh, fresh victims for my ever-growing army of the undead. Sir, you have to let go of the button. Oh, son of a bitch! You must drive this stake right through his heart. Take that, vile fiend! Uh, Dad, that's his crotch. Oh, sorry. You're fired! Don't! Oh. I swear, Monty. You are the devil himself. I, who told you? <laughs> yes, yes, well. Uh, sir, I've arranged for the people of Australia to join hands tonight and spell out your name with candles. There's a satellite hookup on that monitor if you'll just turn your head slightly. Bah, no time. Next! Well, uh, Maggie, I've given this a lot of thought. Uh, I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. Yes! Josh! Uh, <sighs> Beaten by an infant. What could be more humiliating? What a scoop! You know, Smithers, I've always despised the laziness of the common worker. Then I realized his spirit was willing, but the flesh was weak. So I replaced the flesh, which is weak, with steel, which is strong. Behold, the greatest breakthrough in labor relations since the Cato Nine Tales. How long till it's up and running, sir? Keep your pants on, Smithers. First we need a human brain. Hey! Hello, an open grave. Smithers, get him out quickly. The stench is overpowering. Wait a minute, sir. That's Homer Simpson. He wasn't exactly a model employee. Well, who is a model employee? Uh, Simpson will do just fine, sir. Look, Smithers, a twitch. It's moving. It's alive. Oh, that fellow at Radio Shack said I was mad. Well, who's mad now? <laughs> oh, Smithers, I was wrong to play God. Life is precious, not a thing to be toyed with. Now take out that brain and flush it down the toilet. All right, Monty, it's up to your managerial skills. What to do? Smithers, massage my brain. Yes, sir. Hit a home run! Okay, Skip. <laughs> I told him to do that. Brilliant strategy, sir. Lunch time. Yeah, uh, you go ahead. Hey, you don't want to eat? What'd you do? Get one of them stomach staples? As Tolstoy said in quotable notables, give me learning, sir, and you may keep your black bread. Who is that bookworm Smithers? Homer Simpson, sir. Simpson, eh? How very strange. His job description clearly specifies an illiterate. Wait a minute. Go back. Zoom in. Why is that man in pink? Oh, that's Homer Simpson, sir. He's one of your boobs from Sector 7G. Simpson, eh? Well, judging by his outlandish attire, he's some sort of free-thinking anarchist. I'll call security, sir. Well, the only one left is this Mrs. Homer Simpson. Who? Well, uh, she won first prize in the Springfield Art Fair and is the wife of an employee. She'll be easily intimidated. Excellent. Once again, the wheel has turned. And Dame Fortune has hugged Montgomery Burns to her sweet, perfumed bosom. 
Somebody up there likes me, Smithies. Somebody down here likes you too, sir. Shut up! Honey, I'm home! Oh, there's an original sentiment. Ah! Take it outside, Simpson. I'm male modeling. Mm, what were you like as a boy, Mr. Burns? Did you have a dog that you loved? Well, ah! There's something on my leg! Get it off! Get it off! Mr. Ugh! Burns, she's just a baby. Ugh! Marge, I'm 239 and I'm feeling fine. Look, I'm using the original notches that came with my belt. That's wonderful, Homer. I'm so proud Let me of you. get this straight. You're pleased with your current appearance? <laughs> oh, why, my good man, you're the fattest thing I've ever seen. And I've been on safari. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the refrigerator. <laughs> Oh, hello, Simpson. We were just uh, in the neighborhood and thought we'd drop by. Uh, 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 hello, Mr. Burns. Would you like to watch the fight? The fight? Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh, Simpson, good news. I brought some munchies. Uh, uh, Smithers, the Cheetos. Our ah! event is set to commence. In I can't do it, Mr. Burns. You mean you're willing to give up a good job and a raise just for your principles? Hmm. When you put it that way, it does sound a little far-fetched. But that's the look you're looking at. And I vow to continue spending every free minute I have crusading for safety. Of course, I'd have a lot less of those free minutes if he gave me the job. Hmm. You're not as stupid as you look, or sound, or our best testing indicates. You've got the job. Now get to work. So, another Friday is upon us. What'll you be doing, Smithers? Something gay, no doubt. What? What? You know, light-hearted, fancy-free. Mothers, lock up your daughters. Smithers is on the town. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, sir. <laughs> yes, well, Smithers, I want you to arrange a party for two at my estate. Marge, me, and do you think you could dig up Al Jolson? Ah, uh, do you remember we did that once before? Oh, that's right, he's dead. And rather pungent. The rest of that night is something I'd like to forget. Smithers? What's the meaning of this slacking off? Uh, there's a bee in my eye, sir. And? Uh, I'm allergic to bee stings. They, they cause me to, uh, die. But we're running out of forward momentum. Uh, perhaps you could paddle for just a little while, sir. Quite impossible. I can try to bat him off if you like. Uh, <clears throat> really, that's okay. <clears throat> Holy cats, man, we're starting to wobble. Get me to a hospital. You have to paddle. Do tuddle Sunday trousers. Fear not. I'll get you to a hospital. The only way I know how. Smithers, you infernal ninny. Stick your left hoof on that flange now. Now, if you can get it through your bug-addled brain, jam that second mythic cloudhopper of yours on the right doodad. Now pump those scrawny chicken legs, you stuporous funker! One more jostle, you wretched sugar day! Die! Oh, help me. Holy smokes! You need booze! Ooh, this cookie feels heavy, as if there's some paper inside. <laughs> nice job, sir. That was my thumb. Yeah, there seems to be some sort of communique. It's your fortune, sir. Capital. You will find true love on Flag Day. <sighs> Why, it's Flag Day today. It... <gasps> true love at last. Well, it's just you and me here, sir. No time for jokes, Smithers. Come along. We're going womanizing. Oh, goody. Perhaps there's some girls in here. Great heavens! It's one of those nude female fire stations. Oh, I'd always be second place to some kitten stuck in a tree. Let's go, Smithers. Men, there's a little crippled boy sitting in the hospital who wants you to win this game. I know because I crippled him myself to inspire you. Well, I hope they win, or Mr. Burns said he's coming back. Higher! Higher! Oh, I'll give you higher, my filthy little urchin. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
You've won this round.